one of the reasons why you're here is to establish a road or a pathway to the ancestors for future generations. That's a good friend. Peace and blessings. This is Derek Rocco Moore. And I um, wanted to make a real quick video. Um, part of the reason why I'm making this video is because this is one of the questions that came up and I felt that it would be beneficial for a lot of people to kind of understand this, uh, especially those of us who are new to comedic spirituality. And um, the thing is, you know, when you're into comedic spirituality, one of the big differences, one of the stark differences between comedic spirituality and Western uh, religion and the Western religious mindset is that uh, we view God we view God, the creator of all things, never chair, um, the Lord of all things. We view the supreme being as the source of everything, okay? The source of all our blessings, the source of, uh, uh, of you know, like I said, the source of all our blessings, the source of wisdom, the source of knowledge. Um, this is who never chair is. This is what it means to be omnipotent. This is what it means to be omniscient, okay? And um, the, the Lord of all things, the Supreme Being, God, whatever name you choose to call, uh, you know, this, this Supreme Being, okay, is everywhere. And which means that um, you can talk to God or you can pray to God uh, anywhere, okay? You don't need a, someone to intercede on your behalf, okay? Um, that being said, we pray to God from a comedic perspective. We pray to God, all right? Um, but we talk to our ancestors. We talk to our ancestors and our spirits, okay? Now, what's the difference? What do you mean? What do, you, what do you mean when you say that? Well, when I say that, basically what I mean is our ancestors, our spirits, are basically, they are no higher than us, all right? Um, this is why, the reason why I've stated before, we don't worship our ancestors. You know, I don't worship my, uh, my, my grandmother, my, my, de you know, my deceased grandmother, my deceased, uh, great aunts and great uncles, grandparents, and I don't worship them. I talk to them. Okay. If I wanted to know something in, in regards to how they accomplish something. I would talk to them. I don't pray to them. I would talk to them. Okay. So to understand the difference between the two, to understand the difference in approaches, if it's something that is out of my control, okay, something that is totally unknown, I'm praying to God, God, you know, bless me with this. God, uh, bless me, you know, bless me as I go ahead and I go about my, you know, Go about my day, uh, you know, with some type of, um, you know, with material blessings, with material success, and and so forth, and so and so on. Okay. But when it comes to my ancestors, or it comes to the spirits, I talk to them. Okay, and I talk to them because I want to. I want some. I want their insight in regards to how to solve a problem, all right? How to go ahead and to resolve an issue with a family member, okay? You know, in other words, I wouldn't go to God to, if I had went ahead and I'm having an issue with my spouse, I wouldn't go to God for that, okay? I would go talk to someone who knows, I'm not saying that God doesn't know, but I'm. it's like, you don't really want to bother the Supreme Being about that. But I'll go talk to my ancestors and ask them, hey, how would you go in here and deal with this issue? Because that's the reason why they're there. Okay? Now, this is kind of a, a different kind of approach, um, especially if you're coming from a Western religion in which you have been, you know, we've been taught to basically go to God and go to Jesus for everything. And this is part of the reason why it, it might sound a little off. It might sound a little, you know, uh, confusing or so. But you just think of it from this perspective. Your ancestors are still here. 
the reason why God basically even um, created or allowed for ancestors to exist is because if you think and keep in mind that God is the source of everything, God is the source of wisdom, God is the source of success and knowledge and everything else, okay? If you keep that in mind, and then you keep in mind that, you know, you also think about the fact that when we have one of our deceased loved ones, before they leave, before they make their transition, they basically, they have all this wisdom and they helped us in our life. But then when death comes, death takes that away from us, okay? Death takes their, their wisdom away from us. Death takes their experience away from us. So the reason why the ancestors exist is because they have that wisdom and everything. They still have that knowledge and that wisdom and we can access them by going ahead and talking to them. So basically, in that sense, your ancestors, they serve as intermediaries or emissaries for God, okay? And this is the reason why we go ahead and we deal with them. So let me say again, from a comedic perspective, we pray to God. So anything dealing with the unknown, yeah, we want to go ahead and we want to pray to God. But when it comes to dealing with something regarding some human affairs, something regarding, you know, dealing with some issues that's involving anything regarding, you know, anything regarding our family, regarding other people or so, we want to talk to our ancestors about that and get their wisdom, get their insight, okay? Um, basically, that's the channel. And the reason why you're doing this the whole purpose why you're doing this and you're learning this new way of doing things, this new way of going ahead, it's a relatively old way, but it might be, it feels new to you. It's because you're trying to establish a pathway. You're trying to establish a roadway for future generations of how to go ahead, lines of communications of how to go ahead and talk to your ancestors so that your descendants and the people who, and, and the ones who follow behind you they know how to go ahead and access that wisdom, access that, that get that insight from those who love them, from those who they're familiar with. Hopefully that helped you. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Again, if you got any comments, got any suggestions or questions, feel free to drop me a line. Until next time, head to Peace. Don't